Howard Stern's agent Don Buckwald has passed? Richard Simmons passed without us talking about it yesterday? Baseball trade deadline? Today on this date, we've got all kinds of fun stuff going on. Hello and welcome to the live stream, and hello and welcome if you're watching on tape. I see a lot of people watched on tape yesterday. That's exciting. But we're here again, and Joey was really here real early. I appreciate it, Joey. And Joey came in with a comment and a question right off the top, so let me go ahead and... Uh, read those, and then we'll talk about today's events. Joey says, I love baseball and anything Old Stern show. I have to ask, though, how does it feel to know you're for sure on Howard's radar? He definitely at some level is aware of who you are and what you do. You know, that has crossed my mind, Joey, and thank you. And hello, Lance. Hello to you. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Uh, I know for sure uh, I think you're on his radar, at least Marcy's, <laughs> if he's still around. So, um, Welcome in. Thank you. This is what we do. I take a look at the comments. I do some uh, on this date stuff. We talk some baseball, talk some music, pop culture. And uh, Joey was right in here waiting for us to start. So I thank you, Joey. I am so interested in this topic because I wonder, like, if I was walking down the street and, uh, or, you know, I like to go to West Palm Beach. I mean, that's one of my areas. And I see, let's say I see Howard and, and Beth walking towards me on one of those walking paths. Would they recognize me? I mean, that is the most interesting thing. I've, I've actually had this weird dream one time that I was in the office waiting to meet Howard because of this podcast, and uh, it didn't happen. But yeah, no, it's a strange thing. I do wonder, uh, well, to me, it's been crazy to know, just, because I, as you guys who are fans of the show here, um, thank you for coming if you're just joining, by the way. It is strange to to be able to talk to these people who I I've enjoyed and have entertained me, um, Tim Sabian and uh, Doug Goodstein and and Brian Phelan and Mike Ganji and uh, Tom Chiasano. I mean, Tom was a major part of the show, and to have uh, conversations that were recorded and then not recorded, I talked to Tom a lot uh, off off the uh, off, off camera. He's just a nice guy. Um, and I don't mind. Sometimes I'm worried that I'm too star efferish, you know. But I just enjoy, you know, the things that I enjoy that I that I that became part of what I listen to, or you know, any sort of podcast that I listen to regularly, and feel like I know the people. Um, I do want to get to know the people a little bit more, and so um, this is all coming from Joey's comment there. If you can see it, thank you, Joey, for coming in. I'm the new Sal, says Lance. I hope to think I have a little more talent and I'm just not as creepy as Sal. I like Sal, though. I, I know that Sal sees the show. That's what's interesting is that there's people who um, are there now <laughs> that are watching what's going on here. Um, and I, I, I would gather they probably come to the live stream. Um I was a fan for many years, and uh, I, you know, I've been candid about that I don't listen as much anymore, but... That's what I now am like just curious, like what what do those people that are working at the show now, how do they feel about it? Like what is their what is their sense of what's happening and when is this gonna end? And what are they gonna do when it ends? Like, you know, Gary seemed to think about this at all times when every contract came up and Gary has made it. You know, Mary Gary Delabate won the lottery, in my opinion. Uh out of all of them. Doesn't really have to do much. It's a big house, gets goofed on a little bit. Not a lot. Um, but, uh, Joey says, funny how you love to talk about Howard's old friends more than he does. Love hearing all these voices from the past that I grew up listening to. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I, I'm always up. Thank you very much. Oh, King, you're the best. Hello. <clears throat> we do have super chats and super thanks as always, as you can see there. And the King is here. He says, hello to Sparky. Sparky, of course, my former co-host. He's upstairs, hopefully taking a nap. Sparky, the dog, a uh, tough game against Skeens today. We'll talk about that. That's on my list. Um, what was I just talking about? See, this is what happens. I get, I get blinded by these comments and the super thanks and the super chats. Um, but yeah, I just wonder how, how the people that are on the show now, like, I just wonder like, what's Jason and Will going to do? Um, I've had long, not long, I've had a lot of conversations with, uh, like Greg Carmel and he didn't want to do this and which is fine. I, I totally understood. Um, but he just went in and got a regular job. I can't imagine like Jason and Will in regular jobs, but, um, I guess we'll find out. 
Explain super chats and stuff, please. All right, Lance. Well, thank you for asking. Um, so it's basically uh, it's uh, enabled here on my channel because of uh, because of you because of all the folks that come here and I have enough subscribers and enough viewers that you can go in and click. Hey, I like Brad. I like the show. I want to support it. Here's two dollars. Here's four dollars, and you just click it. And you, if your your should be your stuff be, should be tied to Google. I also have membership, so people can become members, which. I need to do more for the members, and I, I know that. But uh, so basically, yeah, that's what a super chat is. You just hit, go down and check, check in the, uh, check in the uh, description, and then, then you can hit super chat and uh, super thanks. And I think King just did that. Oh, he's a member. King is a member. That's why his his came up. He's a Jackie level member. Uh, so you can look around my page again. That's all in the description. So in this description that I have going live, or the show that comes out later, that's uh, that's what's going on. Already update anything tangible. I have nothing, and I and I'm I'm mad about this. So I started going live here. Um, what in April? I think Lance, you were the first one, right? You and King and and Doopy and Ross's dog Spirit and Lord Humongous, <laughs> the crew of cast ups. I love you guys. Um, yeah, get on that, Lance. You don't have to. You're here every day. That's 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 good enough for me. So yeah, and then I had some intel that Artie was going to be coming out of hiding in May, mid-May, um, and start doing podcasts, and you'd see him more on Twitter, and 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 so now I'm just wondering if he decided just to stay low, but we're going to find out. We're going to figure this out. And the guy who got shot, that's right. Who was that? That was early on. Lance has got a good memory. But yeah, early on we had the we had a we had a guy come in and talk about how he was just shot like a, a couple days before, but then he was here. I think he goes on the Reddit site. Um, but uh, yeah, so that that's uh, that's what Super Chat is. That's what's, <laughs> I don't know where I was going. I'm a little confused today. Uh, hello, Joey. I haven't subscribed in at least seven years to series. I often wonder about Marianne and King of All Blacks and even Bobo. Any word if they're all around still? You know, Mary, well, let's talk about a couple of these people. So Marianne from Brooklyn, I thought I was gonna have on this program. We had many discussions about her coming on, and I think she got freaked out a little bit because uh, she still goes on and she's still in the in the universe, and I get that. Um, but I would have loved to have heard from Marianne from Brooklyn. I think they're still around. I think she still calls in. I I okay. So the sub subscriber thing. I uh, I was a subscriber the last couple years for free. Uh, I would get the free plan so I could come here and talk about the show and uh, realize. I mean, it, and it was not. It's, I just didn't enjoy listening. Like, it bothered me. Um, so I stopped uh, I stopped doing the reports. I saw someone do that on Reddit, too, and they're like, I can't listen to the show anymore. But uh, so Marianne's still around. King of All Blacks, uh, I, I got old of him to be on this show, and he, he asked if I would pay him to be on, which I said no. He wanted 100 bucks. Should I have had him on? for? Because I, I, I was trying to do in the, in the math. I'm like, uh, do you think a King of All Blacks interview will actually get me $100? Do you think people are opining for that? Sparky for president says King Doopy. Thank you, sir. I got to get back to the comments. Uh, unfortunately, the guy that sh he... King? Is that true? My goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. The thing is, was his name Sean? Uh, who died? I can't really... Man, that's sad. I did not know that. But uh, King, thank you for that information. Let us know if... Uh, if the family needs anything, I feel very bad about it. Bono has, Bobo has pro prostate cancer? Is that true? I didn't know that. Uh, I would think Howard would cut her off if she joined your prog program. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what scared her. Um, I'll tell a story here in a second, but I want to get through the comments. Yeah, it's sad for Bobo. Um, now, Bobo, this is where I get confused because there's Wolfie, there's Bobo. Bobo. Does Bobo work for the show? Or is he just call in? I can't remember. Uh, Mark's friggin' has quit, has quit listening. And all he still does listen. He just doesn't post uh, daily. Like he, it's not like he wakes up in the morning and, and does it. Um, and I've asked Mark to come on here and he politely declined. I'd love to talk to him. Uh, but he doesn't doesn't have any uh, part about that. Uh, yeah, and Bobo, uh, uh, King of All Blacks is a, is a uh, wealthy garbage man. So, um, well, we're shot out of a cannon today, folks. Got the comments coming in. I love it. Hit the like button. Make sure you're liking what you're seeing and hit subscribe as always as we do this as often. I'm, this is back to back, the first time in a long time. So thank you um, for uh, coming in. Hello, Inbound Reality. Why would anyone get cut off from being on your show? It's well done and not abusive. 
Yeah, I agree. Um, I just think there's a scary thing about if you work or are part of the show now, you just don't want to be cut off. So, um, yeah, no, I wanted to tell the story, though. I, I don't know if I should tell the story, but, um, you know, and I, I'll tell you what. What's funny to me is that I post these, uh, again, after they're live. So this group that's here, you're here under your own volition. I appreciate that, and thank you for coming, and make sure you're liking and commenting, and the comments I make more people want to come in. That's great. But some people go in the comments afterwards, and they just they sh they just shit all over me. Like, this is stupid. Like, who has enough time to... Go watch something and then put that in the comments. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, this is the Billy Mirror thing. So I get people that come in and they get mad at me because of the titles that I put up. But it's like you have to get in the algorithm. It's, it's a YouTube thing. I'm trying. Um, so thank you, Joey, for this. Uh, I don't think. Have you been here before or are you just now commenting? I appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, for the Billy Mirror interview, I put um, something like uh, uh, in the thumbnail, Sal... Sal to leave the sh or Sal's next project or something like that, something very innocuous, um, with a, a picture of Sal and it, it may it said is Sal leaving the show or was Sal's next, and that's something I asked Billy in the interview. I teased it, whatever. And the next morning, like four in the morning, Billy's calling me frantically, like, take that down, take that down. Sal's in trouble. So some <laughs> Sal saw it, I guess, or someone saw it. But uh, I felt bad because uh, Billy is a nice man, and I sh I felt. You know, there's times where I'm like, I shouldn't put that in the title. But it's all about the algorithm. I'm trying just to gain an audience here, get people in here. But it, maybe that's the wrong way. I don't know. Tell You guys tell me. You tell me what you think. Paul Skeens against the Cardinals. I think I think we had a, a 11 strikeout night, probably 12. Uh, I, the Cardinals offense is uh, a str str struggling. I don't care if the Jets are struggling. So, uh, yeah, I think the Pirates take uh, the first two of the series. It's Skeens versus uh, it, uh, Michaelis. Yeah. Don't like that matchup, folks. Um, and let's go to the wild card standings while we're at it and take a look just because we we had that come up here. The Cardinals are in a wild card spot. They're in the second spot. Uh, the Mets right now currently hold the third spot. And then right behind, you know, the Pirates, if they win tonight, will... We'll catch the Cardinals. I did not even realize this. They're eight and two in their last ten. The Pirates on fire. Padres right there too. This is going to be a fun race of uh, mediocre teams to that final spot. Uh, thank you very much, Joey. The show is great and professional. It's hard to be very egotistical. Uh, tools do that, says Lance. I appreciate that. First time I've caught you live, but not my first time listening. Hey, now, first time, long time, as college used to say. What you're doing here is fine. All right, Joey. All right, that's Lance. Thank you very much. So Don Buckwald, how about that? So, I mean, 88 years old, he was clearly an old man, but what is this, what, what do we think this mad, what's going to happen to Howard? I mean, this was his, I'm sure he's got someone over at that agency. Uh, but, you know, you got to think, you know, he's loyal to these people. Will they, will this be it? Hey now, has Howard been to Italy yet? Hello, David. I believe he's in Italy. I don't, no one knows. It seems like he's been there. Um... Horatius, 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 clickbait works whether people like it or not. Everyone falls for it, so you should use that tactic like everyone else. But the downside is that people could feel tricked and not watch twice. Okay, I get that. But I think we got enough people here who know what I do. But I really appreciate you saying that, Horatius. And I appreciate, this is my group here. You guys are some nice nice folks. I like what you're saying. Uh, Joey, Skeens is due to get rocked. I'm a Red Sox fan and hope they make the wild card, but who knows? Uh, and you always like Don much more than Marcy. Oh, so the Red Sox, uh, let's take a look at the Red Sox race here. They are two games out of the wild card, uh, lost four in a row. Dodgers series, not so good for the Red Sox. Didn't make a lot of moves at the, at the off season. Do we think they're going to make any in the trade deadline? And the Royals and the Twins, three teams from the Central, potentially in the playoffs. David, thank you. Love your interviews. I love you, David. Thank you. Uh, hello, Monty. Is he going to come home early? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen anything about the Italy trip. I haven't seen any pictures, you know, most time. And that's what I think I saw someone say that. Well, how's there no pictures of what's going on uh, with Howard in Italy? So I guess we'll have to figure that out. But thank you for uh, all you joining here today. Again, if you're just joining, this is what we do. I start uh, start up. We just I have some topics, rando, 
I look at the commenters, we talk together, we're a community of, of people. I'm going to do some Casey Kasem in a little bit. Yeah, that's my favorite thing. I did see a topic that I liked uh, that I, I will probably do here in a moment. But I want to make sure you're also, again, Lance asked about the super chats and the super thanks. Everything's in the description. So just click around and hit that pay button if you're a big fan. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Just come here and enjoy what you're doing. Uh, Red Sox need pitching uh, mid-relief. Doesn't everybody? You know, everybody's like, oh, we need a bat. We need a big bat and a number one starter. Well, doesn't every team need that? I mean, who doesn't need that? Let's think of the teams that don't need that. The Dodgers? Dodgers need a big bat. They need a number one starter. They need a middle relief probably too. I love that the Dodgers can't win in the playoffs. I love it. They just, they do, they get the 110 wins and then they just not do the same thing that they've done for the 110 games. It's like, oh, we're going to change everything. We're smarter than you. F the Dodgers, I say. Uh, David, what years were the best in your opinion? Jackie years or Artie years? Uh, two different eras. I, I used to always say the Jackie era. I'm sorry, the Artie era. Um, I do still believe that. I think the o, what, 02 to 05 with, uh, with Artie and Casey and Stuttering John kind of on the side uh, was better than any of the side people that you've ever had on the show altogether. Um, Jackie was good, but really what was funny was Fred playing the Jackie laugh. Jackie didn't really, wasn't much of the show, right? I mean, he wrote stuff and made jokes, but uh, Artie was a huge voice and totally made the show um, funny. But now if you go back and watch the stuff in the 90s, it's clearly funny stuff too, but I say Artie. Uh, Sean G says, go Astros. Astros are on fire. What are, what are they doing? Are they, they've won like, well, no, they're, they're ahead of the uh, Mariners now by three and a half games. But they, they went on a run. Weren't you guys like 19 and 40? This is like that, that Washington Nationals run. Um, are you sure Buckwold is gone? Howard Reddit says the guy in the picture is a voice actor and not done. So there's no confirmation. Yeah, no, I mean, I've seen, I'm not sure he's gone. Um, that could be a different person. Um, but I'm, I've seen other, I thought, uh, reputable sources say that. Blue Iris likes uh, BBC. That's that channel, uh, the London channel, right? I think that's what you're talking about. I know that's what you're talking about. Dodgers, Yankees, and Dallas Cowboys. I love to see their struggles. I'm a, I am have a weird thing about the Yankees, though. I like the Yankees. I don't know why. Um, I think because they're sort of like the Cardinals, and they've always won, and people hate them, and I like when my team's hated. It's more fun. Uh, you need to have Bubba the Love Sponge on. I've had Bubba on uh, three times, and uh, I've been trying to get a hold of him again for a fourth, so we'll see. Um, but take take a look at uh, some of the older interviews. I've got a bunch in there. I, mean, I have the playlists. Go to the playlists. They're all there. But Bubba's been on, I think, three times, and I'm trying to get him on again. Uh, Artie's tongue pierce bit still makes me laugh to this day. I don't remember that, David. You have to tell me more about that. I don't remember that. Uh, Skeen's no hitter as long as he stays in. Don't tell Sparky. Sparky does not like this. He does not like when uh, people are talking about the, uh, the the Cardinals losing. But they're so they're not good enough. That's the thing. It's like I'm I I've, I grew up on a really good team in 1985, 1987. Then they went down a little bit. Then the '96 was a good team. But like the 2000s, this the Cardinals just beat the shit out of everybody. And uh, they they just they were like the Dodgers, and now they don't try to do that. It kid, it's so frustrating. Like they don't even try to be the best team. You know, when Larusa was here, he's like, "We're gonna try to win a World Series, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do. We'll go get Matt Holiday." But now they don't try. We'll get Scott Rowland, two thousand two. We'll get Mark McGuire. Now it's like, hey, we'll get a middle reliever and see what happens. So I just get so very angry about uh, the way the Cardinals do business. They don't try to win. They try, I mean, they don't try to win championships. They try to, maybe we can be the you know, wild card, you know, we're playing the central, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Uh, fire! Dude, who are you? I followed the show since NBC days, and I have no idea who you are. Sean, I don't know who you are either. Um, I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy. I used to do a, I, well, if you want to know who I am, Sean, thank you for asking. So uh, I started my little time on the television thing. I did a public access show out of my house at my parents' house, just like Wayne's World. Uh, it was a sports show, me and two buddies, and we would sit and talk bullshit like this. 
Uh, we didn't have this whole thing where we could go live or anything. But we just talked about sports, a lot of baseball stuff. Started getting press passes to games, started meeting people, started doing interviews with players. And then I got a job at the, long story long, I got a job at Fox Sports Midwest in St. Louis and worked there for 15 years, producing the pregame, doing a lot of features. And um, now I just work uh, here on YouTube. So thank you for asking. Uh, but I was a Stern fan. Uh, so Stern showed up in St. Louis in 1991 on the uh, the Channel 9 show. It was actually on Channel 11 at, at 3 in the morning. And uh, I don't remember how we found it, but we started recording. We either were up late, me and my brother, or, but we recorded it. And we remember him being on the on the uh, you know, Letterman show, of course. And so you start watching the Channel 9 show, and you're like, my God, this is well, there's nothing like this. And then the E show came along, and then... Uh, so he came into St. Louis around 1998, and I recorded every show with a tape and uh, had, had timers and stuff so I could get, like, the first two hours of the show. I always thought those were the best. That's who I am. Horatius, have you had Chuck Zito on? I want to know what Howard had to apologize to the Hell Angels. I, uh, I, I requested Chuck, and Chuck uh, politely declined. It was very nice, but did not want to be part. He said he would only do it if it was in person. So I have to remember that. If I'm ever back in New York, I'll have to set that up with Chuck. Um, but he said he does not do Zoom interviews, which I thought that was interesting. Sean. I think we have a Sean fight going on. I'll let you guys work that out. Is Fred Norris responsible for Howard's success? Now, I believe that. I did work with Joe Buck, by the way. A lot. Nice guy. Good, good, good gentleman. I enjoyed working with him. Fred's drops, I think, changed. Let's talk about this for a second. Who, did you ever hear drops on a radio show before Howard, the Howard Stern show? Like, just little stupid drops? It takes me to a topic. I'm going to get to it in a second. Um, don't let any pumpkins die in your house. Same thing happened to me, and I got flies everywhere. I don't know what that means. Uh, hey, hello, Haunt. Yeah, I'm doing it twice today. I'm doing it twice. I saw a good thread today on the, uh, on the Reddit, and I was going to bring it to the, uh, to, the, to the group here today. Mount Rushmore of Sound Drops. I'm going to just read some of these as uh, as they come up. And I don't know which one mine would be. I, hey, now, it's got to be one, right? I, You know, recently my wife's been saying, I need a, like she needs a car, I need a new job, or whatever. And I and then I go, I need a cock. 34G. Um, can I taste your, can I taste your juice? I do them all. Uh, in the house, I think can I taste my can I taste your juice is my favorite one. Oh shit! You wear my ass out. <laughs> Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Uh, of course, Baba Booey. Ak Ak. Of course, are some zero point zero. Um, Elliot Offit, right? All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Jackie laugh. Hee 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 hee. Vodka straight up. Thank you. Uh, top Shelf Liga, I think I have used that one. Uh, uh, Henry Hill, police. Fire! Of course, fire is a huge one. Thank you for the impression thing I'm trying to do. I would love to. That's OJ, right? Okay. Uh, uh, I can't remember. How would you do his thing? All right. Hold on. Continue. Really, man? Okay, there's that. Uh... Shut up, sit down. Ben, Ben Stern. I would love to. Four inches is fine. Scores, man, got a tattoo. Gilbert Laugh, of course. There's four inches, four inches, of course. Yeah, we're just we're just having fun here. Thank you for the, uh, uh, if you have any. So Mount Rushmore, give me your four favorites. There's, it's hard, right? Uh, can, I, can I tell you uh, my favorite Matt Dillon story real quick? Uh, da, 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 da. Just trying to read some some of these. Ack, ack. Shut up, sit down. You dick. That was the one that you used to do. I will, there was a UD. <laughs> Just block party. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're doing the Mount Rushmore of Fred Drops right here. Mm. Thank you for your call, Tradio. That was one of my favorite ones. Anything OJ, of course. I'm just reading through some of these here. Howard Stern is the man. Um, so yeah, I mean these are these were some good ones. I ask you, what are your favorites? Uh, but this is uh, back to that uh, conversation we were having there about Fred. Um, 
Fred is a genius, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's the one who created the radio drop. I have friends that uh, work in radio, and they do drops, and I'm like, and they're they're on time, and they're perfect. Like, it's some guys just play a drop, and they just play it over and over until it gets, but uh, we'll take your, we'll take your call. Have I interviewed Riley's disciple, Iran? I'm trying to have Iran on. Iran's going to be on, so uh, stay tuned for that. That's one of my interviews that will be coming up soon. He has told me he's going to be on, uh, just waiting for the perfect moment. Make sure you hit the like button if you're liking this, by the way, uh, and check out the description if you're just playing around on your computer, wherever you're at, to see uh, Super Chats and become a fan, a member, all that stuff. Also got some good products here today. Uh, I went through and looked at some fun products that I can do. Uh, I'm just reading through with high pitch. Artie Wees was the funniest trap ever. I'm trying to think of that one. Uh, angry black collar. Right. I heard there was a day when they discussed where each drop came from, but I missed it. Well, there was a remember there was a game. Didn't they do a little game show? Who's I'm Kelly Clark. Who's Kelly Clarkson? Who's high pitch? This is Kelly Clarkson. Uh, that's an Eric the. Uh, Eric, what's his name? High Pitch Eric. You know, High Pitch Eric blocked me. I just want to tell you that story. I was going to have him on this uh, program, and he blocked me. High Pitch Eric. HPE. Uh, Sean and 235 are coming in strong here. Crazy. <laughs> what, God, what was the... Damn it to hell. Hi, Fred. I do that a lot around the house. Hi, Fred. You know, just start screaming. And, Hi, Fred. Um, what's the other Fred one? There's another Fred one that they used the word Fred in there. Do some Elliot. You know, I I didn't enjoy Elliot, so I don't remember. Give me a line from Elliot. I could do. I mean, I could do some Elliot. Who dis? That's, I do that. I do that a lot. Dude. Who dis? <laughs> That's fun. I like that. There's like, right? Is that Elliot? I didn't know that was Elliot. Um. Yeah, these Alice ones. Uh, she's got she's got a bunch. God damn it, the hell! I can't remember what she does. Scores man got a tattoo. Let me see. Oh, ham hands bills. What was? It? I love you, Robin. I want to, to take your panties and you know, ham hands was gonna be on the show. I was, Gary, what what was that from? So they play that a lot, but Richard wasn't on the show for a long time. When was when was that Richard Simmons clip from? Um, rest in peace, Gilbert, yes. I don't... And I'll tell you another thing. I didn't really find Gilbert that uh, hilarious on the show. There's He's had some funny things. Okay, Cabby. Hey. Right? I thought Cabby was right. Dickus. <laughs> Dickus. Oh, uh, Cabby. Rest in peace. Going to try to get uh, some more Cabby discussion going on this program. I keep forgetting. That was part of what I was going to try to do today. I had some time today. I finally had some time. Guys, I need some time, and I had some time today. Oh, Takei. How about Takei? Uh, I did one today. What? Balloon knot. Uh, hot. Wet. Bitches. <laughs> Is it strange I walk around the house doing this all day? Oh, God, give me some more Takei ones. Uh, I wanted the sausage. <laughs> Let me see those rum balls. <laughs> Doing these all off of my head. 0. 0.0. So we're talking about the Mount Rushmore of drops. If you're just joining in, why why am I losing my mind here? Um, and uh, mus musculature. <laughs> So, we're, hello, if you're we're just joining. And we talk sports. We talked about baseball a little bit. I think we need to get back to that. In a second. But let me see if there's any other any other things. Oh, I did want to mention, if if you're uh, if you enjoy this, and I appreciate that, I am going to start up some new channels here, some faceless, just try to make money channels. All I ask is you to hit subscribe. And I'm going to tell you more about that. It'll be in my uh, description. Um, but please, please subscribe. Not ready yet. Uh, once I'm ready to uh, unleash these on the world, um, We'll do that. Sour Shoes was awesome. Sour has been on this show. Uh, we, we did voicemails with each other. You can check that out. Uh, ooh! <laughs> Steve Langford! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. There's people upstairs. You know, if I did, if I was just doing this out of my own house without anybody around, I would do this. Uh, there was a tune, was there a tune, a tune in 24.7 feet? Let me see here. I'm just make sure I'm not missing any, uh, I see tsunami. I don't know what that means. I'm just trying to. 
Uh, it was from way back. Howard was asking Richard about being gay. And okay, Gary. Okay, I didn't. I was wondering. Thank you for clearing that up because I knew that that clip came out and they started playing the Richard Simmons thing way more. You know, it's funny that uh, Richard Simmons, uh, you know, that act really started on the Stern Show. I don't think people really realize that. Now, he wasn't doing that. On he wasn't. He wasn't on David Letterman. But um, I do give Stern credit for that. That he had. Oh my. Uh, so anyway, where else? What else we got? What else you want to know? I'll be uh, putting out my Vince Coleman interview. Um, any sports fans in here? Are you guys fans of any Vince Coleman fans? I think you'll enjoy this. I put it together today. It's an old interview, but it, I put some new. He threw fireworks at fans as a Met. Uh, he hated his time at the Mets. Uh, did a double double steal with the Cardinals. Got ran over by a tarp. An electric automatic tarp. The fastest man in baseball. <laughs> And this little rolling tarp got his leg. We talk about it all. And that'll be out coming up in a couple days. Um, thank you, Sean. Are you are you enjoying it, Sean, or no? I, I think you were. It's kind of. I try, I told you. I answered your question, Sean. Did, was there something? Hold on. Let me make sure if I haven't. thought I answered. Who are you? Did you work for Howard? No, Sean. I did not work for Howard. Sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at all the comments. I never worked for Howard at all. Uh, I worked, and I, but I mentioned earlier, I worked in baseball in St. Louis. I've always lived in St. Louis. Never left. No, you didn't. So what did I not do? I'm, now I'm answering. I'm trying to answer. I'm sorry. I, did, I answered earlier that I worked at Fox Sports West, but I didn't answer that question if I worked for the Stern Show. I did not. Um, and I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have enjoyed that. I don't think I would want to be up early, uh, get paid nothing. Cards blow, go Cubs go. Oh, Sean G. See, I knew the people that spell Sean that way had to, had to be a problem. Uh, yeah, Cubs are, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun ride. It's going to be fun. Let's discuss number 47, race off. That is Ross. Thank you very much. Ross is here. He's one of my old-time Cardinals. You're not even a Cardinal fan, though, right? You're just, you're kind of, I don't want to be, I don't want to say, this, well, I mean, you're aut I feel like I'm autistic, so I can remember stupid stuff like race off being number 47 for the Cardinals. Tim Conroy, big, big, uh, big run in 1986 and 1987 for the Cardinals. Hey, now. Um, what else did we want to talk about today? Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I got some birthdays. It would have been Don Drysdale's birthday today, speaking of baseball. Hello there. When did he die? 1993. Burt Convy? He's a St. Louis guy. Password? Uh, I was a huge fan of Password with Burt Convy. This new... Are you guys watching these new game shows? They suck, right? I mean, it's all this fake fucking excitement and people, yeah, on every stupid shit. Orioles, best team in the AL. Best farm system, too. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's make a trade with the Orioles. Give us Jackson Holiday. I'll take him. You can have Ryan Helsley. What do you guys think of that trade, Larry? You want, you want, uh, you need a closer? We got one. We want Jackson Holiday here. We'll also take, uh, Gunner and, uh, uh, who's it? Houston Kirstead or whatever his name is. Shotzi, the dog, was born today. The dog, Marge Shots dog. Marge Shots racist dog. Uh, shit on the field one time. I have a video of that if you ever want to see that. I don't think Ronnie's going to be on the program. Thank you, though. appreciate that. Make sure you're uh, hitting the like and subscribe buttons. By the way, we do this every once in a while, maybe once a week, twice a week, sometimes three times a week. And I just come here looking like Rachel Maddow, as someone told me yesterday. It doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, I don't think Ronnie would do that. Noma Gossiapara, his uh, birthday is today. You know Norma, Nomar, he was... Uh, he was uh, dating. I don't know if he married me. Or him. But on Thanksgiving, I remember one time they asked him, and like, hey, buddy, we're going to have turkey and stuffing. Are you coming over? He's like, no, nah, I'm going to have me a ham. Omar Epps' birthday is today, too. Do my best Billy shot. Billy shot? Is that his? She had a, they have a kid? I didn't know they had a kid. It's Woody Harrelson's birthday. He's 63 today. Slash 59. Happy birthday to Slash. Uh, let me see. What else did I have? I had some more stuff here for you. Oh, by the way, this date, oh, this week in Stern history. So this date tomorrow, 2001, very famous moment. What is the biggest moment in 2001 from the Stern show? It happened on this date tomorrow. AJ Benza, punching, stuttering John, getting kicked off the show forever. That happened on July 24th, 2001. I would have loved to see those two fight. Not, I think I would have rooted for stuttering John. Uh, I miss... <laughs> <laughs> Billy West's Marge shot impression 
is uh, is possibly been scrubbed from the the planet. You will never hear that on the best of Stern. I can't even do it. Um, but it was the mo, and then he did it with Pete Rose sitting right there. <laughs> oh come on, Joey, nine eleven. I'll stop it. Let's stop with the. Let's. I, I'm not going to read anything with the. I'm not even going to say it. Um, let me see what else I got here. I've got a good 45. We did the Mount Rushmore of, uh, we did the Mount Rushmore of, uh, drops. We talked baseball. Uh, again, I'm going to have a new channel coming out here in a little bit. I want you all to join a couple new channels. So, uh, I'll put that in the description and I'll ask you to do that. And I'll, I'll be very appreciative if you do that. And I appreciate you coming here today. This has been super fun. Um, what's for dinner tonight? What should we eat tonight? You would root for Stuttering John? Yeah. Everyone everyone rooting for Stuttering John in that fight. That's interesting. Now, what is going on with Stuttering John? Does anyone know? I don't know. I'm not keeping track. I know there is a... I know there's a podcast that keeps track of him. Is that for real? Like, is that what they do? I don't know. Uh, but thank you for uh, joining today. I think I'm going to say uh, that's it for today. I did want to come on because I think Don Bockwell did uh, possibly pass, we think. And uh, Richard Simmons, we didn't talk about that, but I saw a good topic there too, and baseball and all that good stuff. Um, oh, by the way, what it, there's a Imus thing. It's Imus's birthday today. Let me the I Man. Hold on, let me look. If the I Man would have been born, he was uh, he died in 2019, but he was born on this date in 1940. Don Imus. So how old did that make him? 40 to 20. So he was 80, just 79. What's Howard? 70. So he got he got some more years. Uh, Greg Matthews, yes. Greg Matthews, former Cardinal rookie. Pitch game six, seven, six, five. One of the games in the NLCS beat the Giants. Game one. Game one of the NLCS. He won against the Giants. Uh, da, 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 da. Hi, Reba. That's interesting. Um, LZ, hello. Funny how Richard Simmons dies as summer starts. Yeah. Oh, I see. I don't know. Are you trying to make a joke there? Uh, yeah, I missed the March, the March shot stuff. I have that on tape somewhere. Yeah, but, and he didn't do a 70 birthday show, from from what I'm told. I don't remember. Let's. You know what I like to do every once in a while. We're almost done. I hear that the dinner's being ready. Oh, anybody know why he's famous? Why why this is an important link to Stern Universe? Does anyone, anyone know why Chuck Finley is important? He was married, this guy, to Tawny Katayan. Tawny Katayan, right there, that guy, Chuck Finley. I don't even know why I have that card out. Tawny Katayan died at 54. Sad, you know? Who would have thought the lady on the white snake uh, car would have, uh, would have died? I don't have any good cards here that I want to show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing good. Yeah, and Randy Johnson, the big unit. That's the big unit. Upper Deck, 1990. Anybody have these cards? St. Louis Browns became the Orioles, and Cleveland Browns became the Ravens. Larry, you're on top of your shit. You really are. And then Cleveland Browns, the Cleveland Browns, uh, they got they got their team back. We didn't. We didn't get the Browns back. Uh, yeah, she's dead, Hound. Yeah, both Browns. They're, they like to get down, and they like the brown in Cleveland. That's what I've been told. I had a weird experience in Cleveland. You want to hear about it? I don't want to talk about it. Let's just say it was a, it was a wedding night that went strange and wrong. What about that? Battered hut. That's right. Tawny beat the shit out of him. That is, And it was Tawny that beat him up, right? Ross, you're on top of shit. Thank you for being here. You're always welcome. Uh, here. Battered. <laughs> and Tony Katan beat the shit out of him. That's what happened, Larry. If that's what you're asking. Oh, in Cleveland for me? I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. Let's just say I was called, I've been called the dentist before. Nah, I'm not talking about that. No, no one's here to hear about me. I'm here just to talk to you guys. No, I'm not here to tell those kind of stories. Let's just say, I thought I was going to be in some trouble. But it wasn't. And that's good. Got kind of tiny contained. All right. Um, this has been wonderful. I appreciate it. Might come back tomorrow. You never know. I appreciate you being here. We're going to do it again. We'll talk about more Fred drops. We'll talk about what you want to talk about. 
keep t commenting in the comments and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Maybe we'll do this again. I talked about Limp Biscuit yesterday. This is great. I have stuff to talk about, but not anymore. Have a great day. Gary. Okay. Bye for now.